What's up, man? This is your boy Rebuke All Devils coming back to you live in the spirit, live in the flesh. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Man, there has been an arrest made after 18 years in the unsolved murder of Jam Master J, infamous Jam Master J of the infamous Run DMC hip hop group. But without further ado, let's check out ABC7 for this breaking news. Clark, I'm Shade Better in Law. And I'm Bill Ritter. We're going to begin with that breaking news, a break in the unsolved, notorious murder of Run DMC's Jam Master J. Pioneering hip-hop legend Jason Mizell was shot at point-blank range 18 years ago in a recording studio in Queens, a cold-blooded murder that until today had gone unanswered. Tonight, two men are under arrest, and we are learning more about a motive for the killing involving the DJ's alleged dealings with kilos of cocaine. Eyewitness reporter N.J. Burkett is live in downtown Brooklyn with the breaking details. N.J.? That's right, Sade. Investigators cracked this very cold case. That was revelation number one. Revelation number two was that Jam Master Jay was apparently a major cocaine trafficker. And prosecutors say he was murdered, but he tried to cut one of his accomplices out of a drug deal. Jam Master J was one of the pioneers of hip-hop, part of the group Run DMC that became a global sensation. Jason Mizell was well-known in his Queens neighborhood and a local hero. But he was murdered in his music studio in October of 2002 by two masked men with guns, a crime that went unsolved for nearly 18 years. U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District, Seth Ducharme. This is a case about a, a, a case about a murder that for nearly two decades um, had gone unanswered. And so today uh, we begin to answer that question of who killed Jason Mizell uh, and why. But in addition to his music career, prosecutors say Mizell was a major narcotics trafficker who moved cocaine by the kilo in Brooklyn and elsewhere. But investigators say when he resolved to cut one of his accomplices out of a major drug deal, that accomplice, identified as Ronald Washington, conspired with another man, identified as Carl Jordan, to murder Mizell. What we've alleged in that indictment is that on October 30th, 2002, nearly 20 years ago, Mr. Jordan and Mr. Washington uh, walked into a music studio uh, in Queens where uh, Mr. Mizell and others uh, were working, essentially, uh, and hanging out. And they walked in and they murdered him in cold blood. Authorities praised Queens detectives for pursuing the case and developing fresh leads. The relentless pursuit to bring this case to justice is absolutely incredible. Well, the chief did not take questions from reporters here today, so we don't know. We weren't able to ask whether Jason Mizell was on law enforcement radar as a drug dealer in the early 2000s. As for the two defendants, the first of the two was arraigned about an hour ago here at U.S. District Court and ordered held without bail. Ronald Washington, the other defendant, was apparently already in prison and will be arraigned at a later date. Man, and there you have it, man. And, you know, I know it's shocking, you know, the allegations of him moving kilos, man. You know, a lot of the public, you know, we never heard that because, you know, we never know what goes on, you know, in anybody's personal life, man. But at least the family will get some closure. At least the family and, you know, R.I.P. Jam Master J is one step closer to receiving the justice that they've been looking for for almost 20 years. So, you know, uh, I think it's a good, I think it's a good thing anytime you can take murderers off the streets because we know that one of the 10 commandments is thou should not kill. You know what I'm saying? And, and nobody has a right to take a life. But with that said, man, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I drop a new hot sizzling video such as this one. And like I always say, until the next episode, family, shallow one.